In this video, I'm going to show you how to create the JSON file that you need to build uh, if you're going to be using these methods for uh, copying the, copy and pasting them into the attribute configuration or importing uh, you know, a set of attributes or updating a set of attributes that you want to use within the PIM. So, and this really is for developers only. Um, so the first point is, you know, to extract the your product object schema. If you view this uh, this video that we've done, uh, or have a look at this process, that will tell you how to do it. Then the next bit you've got to do is you're going to sort of actually use the JSON template attached with uh, this to build to build the output. Um, for this, you know, you can change the names uh, and uh, of the actual titles that you want to appear on the page. Um, you're going to attach, you know, you're going to attach uh, uh, these to categories so that they can be built. Then you're just going to basically either use that as part of the import process, this one, or you're just going to be copying and pasting it into this field here. So the end, that's what we're building uh, within this this process. So I've got my template field here. The first point is you need to download download the, uh, I've done that here. Uh, and the only fields that we're really interested in are these two. Uh, this is the integration name within AP. This is the display name um, that happens, but you can see, you know, this has got other interesting things like field type and you know the integration names for the actual objects themselves. The object that we want in the PIM is products. So we just, it's uh, this one, product AP product. So that's what we're using. So effectively we're uh, going to just copy and paste these, the fields that we want. I paste them all into a work, into my working template, which is here. Uh, and I'm gonna use this one as an example. So. I've copied the uh, basically the integration name, uh, the old label, uh, then just replicated it here, uh, and I'm just basically saying, you know, this is so in 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 our in our text, this is uh, in our sort of schema. It's the label is bullet point one, but actually I'm going to change it, so you can see, you know, I'm changing these labels to fit my pattern. I may have created lots of new attributes within within the PIM. See some of the other sections and vis, uh, and videos for that. But uh, basically, you know, I'm just doing what I want to build uh, and I'm actually building JSON here. So I've taken them into, you know, a folder. So I've got my integration name, I've got my new label, and now I've just got a formula up here that's building the uh, JSON that we're going to be using uh, within this. So it's this formula that you need to copy down uh, for whatever you're doing. So first point is add to document. It's going to add the field name. So as you can see, the integration, the integration name is what's used. So this is bulletproof one and the title is actually what you want the, the new label to be. And then it's got a comma after it. So once we've got once we've got our, uh, you know, JSON, we just need to do a little bit of processing, which I generally do within, um, within something like uh, Notepad++. Uh, so what I'm doing here is uh, basically I've just cop copied it into some form of text editor. Uh, you know, I need to get rid of the last comma uh, and what I actually need to do is uh, put this on one line, but I need to add uh, some square brackets to it just so that I can, uh, so JSON will see this as, as a one line edit. So I'll just do that. So very importantly, you know, I'm adding, I'm adding the, the elements, sorry, of the square bracket, taking out the last comma, square bracket, uh, closing square bracket to, to end it and then effectively I'm just doing a find and replace to take out all the all the uh, end K 
carriage returns or line breaks, I've got a macro that does it for me, uh, and I just make sure that there's no trailing space. Then all I need to do now is just copy and paste this into uh, if I'm using if I'm using the uh, first method, which is just to copy and paste. That's the that's the data that I physically need. So I'll just go into the PIM, uh, go into go into a product configuration. Uh, I'll just go into my test one here that I've done here. Just edit this. Oh, hold on. Let's just get it there. Go to systems info. Uh, all I'm doing here really is just taking this what's there, overwriting it and saving it. So having saved it, just come back to my config uh, and I can see that, you know, it's basically just copied the fields in. This this really is a quicker way if you've got lots of items to do. Uh, the other the other thing that I'd be doing here is potentially just copying that line uh, into my import file uh, here. So as part of my import, which is the other method. So if I just wanted to import the data, I'd just be copying it into this config JSON uh, so that I could just import the configuration directly into that. So just going back to what we've done is, uh, you know, we've got two methods if we're using JSON. One is we do need to extract the product data, uh, the product object data from schema. So, you know, this is how you do that. We're just using a template to create the JSON and then we're importing it. Uh, we're copying and pasting it into the system info uh, section uh, or creating creating the thing the uh, attribute configuration so you can build it uh, in method two we're just doing the same thing to create the JSON uh, but we're putting it into an import map on one of the lines and then we're running the import routine uh, in attribute configurations which there are videos for and the end result is that we've got our JSON neatly put in. You could use this to update uh, lots of categories if you want to. Uh, you know, we're allocating them to categories and so on.